The trouble started at a reception in Buckingham Palace. David Cameron's hosting a special anti-corruption summit this week, and he thought he'd fill the Queen in. We've had a very successful cabinet meeting this morning. We were talking about our anti-corruption summit. We've got the Nigerians. The, we've actually got some leaders of some fantastically corrupt countries coming to Britain. No, Nigeria and Afghanistan, possibly the two most corrupt countries but in the world. This he may think they're two of the most corrupt countries in the world, but they're also two governments he's invited to London. But this afternoon, Downing Street had this to say about the heads of those two governments. President Ghani writes that Afghanistan is one of the most corrupt countries on earth, while President Buhari writes that corruption became a way of life in his country under supposedly accountable democratic governments. Both leaders have been invited to the summit because they are driving the fight against corruption in their countries. The UK stands shoulder to shoulder with them as they do so. But even if that is what the two heads of government think, this is still an embarrassment. But David Cameron has form on this. This was two years ago, after the Scottish referendum. She's probably not purring now, and it's her Prime Minister who'll have to make a bit of a diplomatic effort with two of his guests.